Man, in today's video, I wanna talk to you about business tax write-offs. Let's talk about it. Israel uh, can benefit from what I'm about to talk about, which is tax write-offs, and it's a very important part of doing business. So I'm on my lunch break, and uh, I'm taking my my Gravely mower in to get serviced. You know, yesterday I was cutting uh, our grass for our business, and that's sitting on an acre and a half, and uh, about two passes, the PTO belt pretty much broke, gave out. That's the cutting blades. And uh, in business, man, you have to have a different mindset because normally if this was my personal mower, you know, what I would do is I would order the part online, look for the cheapest price, and then wait for that to come in and then fix it myself. I also need to get uh, an oil change done on this. If this was my personal line mower, like I've done for many years, I would have maintained it myself. You know, other than that, it's missing a gas cap. Don't know where the gas cap went to, but uh, gotta get some, basically get this thing serviced and get a couple parts on it. But uh, in doing so, in business, you have to think about tax write-offs. So, man, I went by on lunch prior to coming uh, coming home to grab the trailer and the, uh, the mower, and I got a pretty much a, uh, estimate on how much it would cost in X, Y, and Z. And, and if I didn't have a business, your, your main goal is to save money, save money, save money because you're not getting any tax breaks on that side of the house. But in business, man, you have to think about tax breaks. You don't want your profit, your tax bracket. You don't want to be in a high tax bracket in business. So with us starting the business, you know, this year, last year we paid zero taxes. This year, due to startup costs and carrying over those tax write-offs from last year, I'm hoping we can zero out again. And then the third year, we can slowly work our way to the $10,000, uh, you know, gross or, or no higher than the $10,000 tax bracket. And our sweet spot in business is going no higher than about 15 to 20. So you have to think about, okay, what can I, what kind of expenses does the business incur? And this is one of them. We bought this, this mower under the business, this Gravely Zero Turn. Before that, man, I was pushing acreage with that doggone push mower. And it wasn't beneficial for me to get a, a, a zero turn um, because I wasn't gonna get any tax breaks. So by taking this thing in to get serviced, they might run that thing up for the oil change, uh, putting the belts back on their balance and everything. That might be a $500 bill, but that's a business expense. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the year, when we file taxes, now if I would have did this for my personal equipment, it would have been about an $80 job, $80, $90 job. But letting them do it, get everything operational, it saves me time and gives me a tax write-off and gives me a tax write-off and our total income that we made won't be as high once we deduct the expenses. And that's what you want to do, man. You want to, you know, if if you in if you run a business and you go out to dinner, you got to find ways to say, "Okay, was that a business meeting? Did we discuss business?" Because if you did, now that's a business dinner, that's a business lunch. That's a professional lunch. See, without, when you don't run a business or uh, pretty much operate as a sole proprietor, you don't get any tax write-offs. You see what I'm saying? My personal vehicle, we rent that out to the business in order to get a tax write-off. 
So you have to think about, you know, this is why I'm always uh, encouraging Israel to doggone actually start something legitimate so you can get some of these tax breaks and don't have to give all of your hard earned money away in a certain tax bracket. You can minimize your, you gotta think, man, the president, you know, has never paid taxes. That's because he's business minded. You know, uh, in the future, once we are not having all these business expenses, like we did starting up, you're gonna have to spend some money, you know? So in the future, I might have to buy another truck, but I'm gonna buy it under the business. It's gonna be a tax write-off, and then I'm gonna divide that uh, expense over the course of four years. And you gotta think about the, the price of trucks now. So if you go out and get a $70,000 truck for a business, and then you only making 20,000 a year, 20,000 a year, now, if that's divided over the course of three, four years, now I'm pretty much in expenses just by buying that vehicle. That's not even counting uh, depreciation. Now my, my, my total income for the year went from 20,000 to about $3,000. And the amount of tax you pay will be less. You gotta find a way to, to turn a profit at the end of the year so they can see, okay, this is actually turning a profit, but it expensed out to where you don't, you're in a low tax bracket where you really don't have to pay too much in taxes. And that's the name of the game. You know, there's so many different things like in dog boarding and daycare, people uh, that have their dog on a raw food diet, they have their dog on a raw food diet. If somebody brings us raw food, man, that food has to be stored uh, or refrigerated. So guess what happened when the refrigerator in the house went out? Well, we need a refrigerator for the business. Well, we need a refrigerator for the business. So what did we do? We went and bought a refrigerator for the business. That $1,200 uh, refrigerator now was a business write-off. You gotta, you gotta, gotta find ways to separate, you know, normal expenses and tie business into it to where it can be a write-off. Because if we would have went and bought that, uh, just me and my wife were outside of business. That would have been no tax write off. Not at all. Anytime I got to buy lumber, anytime I got to buy building materials, concrete. Oh, I'm buying that for the business. That way it deducts from, you know, if we spend $1,200, $1,500, $3,000 on concrete, that's a business deduction. So today I just wanted to, 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 to share with you, you know, how to conduct you know, business righteously and how to win in this system that really doesn't want Israel doing business, to be frank. They really don't want uh, Israelites to understand this, but I'm, I'm telling you how to get it done. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.